Now, these numbers represent the most serious reasons. So, so let's say Gary Moore goes to prison, right? And let's say I've got a drug possession charge, and let's say I've got a, 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 a burglary charge. It's only on the, it's a higher security. So the 21.5% of all the women coming to prison, their most serious charge is drug possession. And with the men, clearly the large six. So we, so listen, folks, this is, I, I, and I, I'm, I'm going to get on this now as long as I'm director in this state and probably beyond this. I want to ask the simple question. Why are judges in Ohio and in our country, why are judges the number one referrer of people for drug treatment? Why isn't it our medical community? Why have not we established, gotten rid of the stigmas? If I needed a, a rotator cuff surgery, I go to my family physician, I get a script to, to see a specialist, I get surgery, and you know what? No one condemns me for that. We have not given our medical community, we're trying to design, government's trying to design all these matrix and all these things, but unfortunately it's still anchored in the criminal justice system and judges. We ought to be thinking about the fact of giving doctors resources to be re referring people so, so moms and dads can have a place to take their kids and they know this is the way to do it. And folks, that isn't the way it is. There are doctors that want to help, but time after time after time, if you talk to parents, they're struggling with what to do.